Hello and welcome back to my channel and this is a pickup video for November and first off was my last actual physical trip into HMV pick up King Creole probably Elvis's best film and one of only two that I can actually watch of his the other being Jailhouse Rock so I used to have this on DVD but sold that as soon as I knew this was coming out on Blu-ray so typical premiere art cards and a single sided poster which is more of a flyer than a poster but there you go and that is Elvis's best film by far and looks pretty good a couple of special features nothing over the top but yeah glad I picked that one up good film and then Indicator had their first of two November sales just one for one week which was um, a hammer sale so I picked up the Gordon Gorgon sorry uh, which is in the first box set they had which is sold out quite a while ago now so standard release but they were also giving away some art cards from the site so you got the Gorgon Cash on Demand Camp on Blood Island Taste of Fear and visa to Canton so a nice little um, freebie there from Indicator and then I decided to pick up the Mafia Trilogy on PS4 not played them any of these before saw a trailer for the um, definitive edition of Mafia which has just been redone and it looked really really good so I thought my kind of uh, game I'm stuck on a bit at the moment uh, quite early in the game actually it's a race and you have to win it there's no way you can cheat and it's proving quite difficult so I haven't played it for a little while but fantastic looking game really is and then I picked up Gotham by Gaslight I'd heard someone sort of give a fairly positive review about this one and um, I was aware of the graphic novel for some years but never picked it up or anything so I'll pick this up reasonable price and it's brilliant really really enjoyed that one of the better ones then of course Indicator had their big sale after their um, hammer sale so I decided to pick up a few titles that I hadn't picked up before and number one is Christine not the best John Carpenter film and not the best Stephen King book but it's a fun ride and I enjoyed going back to it and you have um, Keith Gordon gives a really good performance as he sort of starts off as a nerdy bloke that's bullied um, becomes a bit of a cool kid and then becomes a complete asshole uh, good film and I also picked up Sinbad and the Eye of the Tiger another really really good Harryhausen film I, I do enjoy these and a good package again and then one I'd never heard of, well I'd heard of it but I've never seen No Orchids for Miss Blandish which is actually a British noir Although it's the um, the, the writer of the original book, James Hadley Chase, he's English. Um, it was written as an American hard-boiled novel, crime novel. So this is a, a British film with people talking in American accents. And it's really quite good. It's uh, There's quite a lot of... Uh, nastiness going on there's Sid James who uh, gets glassed at one point uh, 
so it, it was really well worth picking up I'm glad I did limited edition as well with the booklet so if you like your noir pick it up good film and one that I've not seen in years scum limited 40th anniversary pack full of special features I've not got around to watching this one yet but I will do at some point I do remember seeing it originally um, and the original teleplay when they re-screen that on channel 4 great film and then I also managed to pick up Batman Bad Blood this is really good there's some really nice bits in this one um, and as usual these come with sort of making ofs and extra cartoons from the DC vault so good value for money really really enjoyed that one and then for less than three pound I managed to pick up um, the Prestige from Christopher Nolan which is one of his best films I think and I haven't seen this since it first came out on home video so 2006 I think that is so really looking forward to getting back into this one and I'm sure my son will enjoy watching that as well then I had to get posted from HMV because obviously you can't get into store anymore and this is the Phantom this is a great little film um, yeah, 1996 number 130 in their collection this didn't do terribly well at the box office um, but it's a great little film um, it was obviously set up for sequels a franchise that never happened so it's got the lovely uh, Catherine Zeta-Jones in it she looks gorgeous um, maybe it was a purple suit that put people off I don't know but it's a great fun film another poster there which is not much bigger than a flyer and unfortunately although it's this premium collection there's no special features on this one so still not getting the, the love it deserves this film unfortunately great film now of course it's the 30th anniversary of getting your ass to Mars so I had to pick up this blu-ray edition two disc great transfer great film um, there is a super duper 4k version with about six discs and booklets and posters and everything but that was sold out before I even realized it was available so there you go but another great film and new up from 88 films in their Asia collection latest Jackie Chan that they got it's actually Jackie Chan's first starring role New Fist of Fury which was directed by Lo Wei who directed the original Fist of Fury um, unfortunately this is probably the biggest disappointment of the month it's not a terribly good film not as good as I was hoping for but again 88 films cracking release two versions of the film great booklet and of course lovely slip cover with art by Kung Fu Bob's art and wouldn't you know it 101 so we're having a sale as well so I managed to pick up Paul Verhoeven's Black Book which I haven't seen since release but really good film nice package from 101 two disc and a cracking thin but really good little booklet nice thick paper stock well printed sort of thing you'd expect from Arrow so really looking forward to getting back into this one Dutch film no English in it if you've got English subtitles but that's it but uh, yeah very good underrated film I reckon and whilst the sale was still on I decided to pick up 
the uh, Marlena Dietrich and Joseph von Steinberg box set. Um, I thought about this a couple of times. Shall I get it? Shall I get it? In the end, I decided that less than five pound a film would be daft not to. Lovely cover art. Great. I've watched three of these so far, and they've all been very, very good. Very stylish. Lovely black and white photography. And then the end of the month was my pre-order that I've had on for a good two or three months, and that is the. Columbia Noir number one. I've done an unboxing of this as I did with the Dietrich set. If you want to look at that up, six films, 120 page booklet, stack full of extras, limited edition. Brilliant. What more can you say? So it's been a very busy month. Uh, I can guarantee you December won't be as busy. Um, I've got one pre order. Coming in from Indicator, and there's another re release coming out beginning of this month, i.e., December, that I would uh, pick up. But other than that, I think it's going to be a pretty slim month. Anyway, there you have it November's pickups, and thank you for watching.